Hosting an artistic evening for amateurs, it's getting popular. Women love it, and it can be done almost anywhere. But if you really want to press the edges of creativity, you've come to the right place. We have three ways to perk up a paint night. Our instructor, Emily Hammerstadt, is joining me to elaborate on the joy of paint night altogether. It's great to meet you, Emily. Thank you. Great to have you as well. If people don't know, generally kind of give us a scope. What is paint night? Okay, so paint night is that you're going to gather either with friends, family, Family, or even just go to a studio that's already hosting one and you're going to paint a set painting together. You'll take your creative elements with it, but for the most part you'll be walked through the same kind of painting. You're a creative at heart and I know you've taken a dive into the research. What does it tell us about a creative event like yes. this? So there is there is some pretty solid stuff about creativity that is important and the first one is that creativity is actually a learned habit. It's, it's a learn. It's like it's totally learned. It's so, not innate. You don't have it or you don't. You can pick this up. You can learn this. Yes. So it's let's let's put it this way. Everyone has to learn to walk, right? Yes. But some kids are maybe born with a little more swagger. So some kids are a little more <laughs> creative, but we can all get our swagger. So you say creativity loves safety. What do you mean by that? So when we're creating, we want to make sure that we have a safe place to create or we're going to close ourselves down. And the biggest person we want to be safe from is actually ourselves. I believe that. So we want to make sure that as we're painting, we're talking about how much we love this painting, how good we're doing, that kind of stuff. And then our brain is actually going to naturally be more open and susceptible to the learning that we're doing and the creativity. I can see that. I believe that. You say creativity really flourishes if you're having fun along the way. Yes. So when we have fun, it actually opens up pathways in our brain that make it more receptive to be able to try new things and retain those new things that we learn. All right, let's hone in on the paint night idea with three different ways we can level it up and push toward those borders of fun that you talked about. First, you say you can run with a theme. Yes. So we have done it all. Um, my favorite is probably Regency paint night. Ooh. Um, that feels we, sophisticated. Yes. It's very, very, very nice. refined. So dress up totally. Like go all dress out. Up? Dress up. Oh boy. So my daughter and I did a Regency paint night. It was so fun. We both got completely dolled up for okay. it. We had tea before we went. <gasps> How um, fun. Yeah, so live it up with that one. Another really popular one is Wizards. So Harry Potter, anything like that. Again, dress up, Pack get your, your cloaks out, get your wands. Yes. And just theme everything from the drink that you guys drink while you're painting to the snacks that you eat to the painting that you do. Okay, so it starts with the painting, then you kind of work backward. How could I make this into a costume idea or yes. suggestion? How might I make this into a food spread or a theme that we nibble on as well? So that, that's a fun work backwards exercise. Yes. All right, another way you can do it, you say, is to make it a speed painting activity. We're going to apron up, right? Yes. And we're going to try this. What's the thrill of this? Is it just that, the adrenaline and the race? Uh, so, a couple of things. You're feeding off of other people's creativity when you do this because okay. it's not just speed painting. We're actually going to rotate our paintings. Oh. So, and the beautiful part about this one is we're actually going to do a drawing versus a painting. So you can switch up your mediums that you use. You've got watercolor, you've got acrylic. We're going to do drawing today. Okay. And... It's it's going to make it so that we rotate really quickly here, perfect for a date night. Uh huh. And so I draw a little, and then I switch. You totally switch. So then our brain is switching back and forth between two different ideas, just oh. opening up new things. Okay. Now are, are are these our prompts? Yes. Okay. So I suggest using prompts just because sometimes creativity feels a little bit hard to just stretch for. Uh -huh. So if we give ourselves just a little bit, so okay, for so example. you're going to draw a prompt. I'm going to grab a prompt. Yes. You got. Mine says tree. Mine says a drink. Right. Now they're basic, but we can run with it. I could do a maple tree. I could do a pine tree. I could do. I could right? do a smoothie. I could do Coca-Cola. I could do lemonade. Are we ready? Yes. 30 seconds. We're going to go for it. Yes. On our marks, get set, go. And I'm standing next to a professional. Why am I always set up to fail this way? Hold on. Oh, there's that cri that critic that we're supposed to silence, right? That's right. I mean, it's nice about this it. This is so fun, and it is. Okay, yeah. how's it coming? When and do we switch? And it's speed painting, so it's going to be just really like silly and fast. When do we fun. switch? Okay, so depending on your medium, you're going to switch every like minute because You've we're got doing 10 drawing. Seconds left. Should we switch? Oh, we're, we switch at the ten seconds, right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh, okay. Okay. We've got ten seconds left. Here we go. All right. Here we go. This is beautiful. I like and it. there was our 30. <gasps>
There was our 30. I'm just giving your beautiful trees some shading. I give you a lemon. How about that? How about that? Okay, should we do one more? Let's do one more. Okay. We got time for okay. more. Can we flip it? Okay, let's do it. Okay, ready? Ooh. There we go. I got fruit. Ooh, I got dessert. Hey, they're compatible. I know, very Are we nice. ready? Okay, On our marks, totally. Get set, go. Oh, I like that you use colors. I'm gonna pull some colors in this one. Gosh, I'm thinking of that game fruit basket in third grade. Don't be intimidated, but I'm doing a basket weave. <laughs> a basket <laughs> weave? Oh my joke. goodness. The intimidation part was the joke. The basket weave hopefully is not. Okay. Tell us when we're halfway, guys, and we'll switch. 15 seconds. Okay, switch. Ooh, ooh, switch. Oh, okay, my gosh. Okay. Whipped cream on top? Yes. You're so fancy. Ooh, oh, You're so fancy. This. Oh, my gosh. This would be fun with girlfriends or as couples. Yes. This Why is do a... I always go to coloring? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> and done. Uh, hey. Hey. Okay. Not too bad. You picked up on my orange. Yes. You're the orange to my banana. Okay. okay. I love it. And what was this? What kind of pie was this? Okay. Uh, you know, I had a blue crayon, which I didn't know that it was blue at first. So then I was going to blue blueberry. Blueberry. I, don't know. I blueberry. love blueberry. Okay, okay, that was super fun. We've got one more idea, and this is where things are going to get wild. Yes. What is this last paint night activity? Okay, we are going to paint with our feet. So you're going to want to take your shoes off for this. Are obviously. we sure about this? Yes. I mean, it sounds good in theory. Ah! I told Emily before the show, we've been doing this for a minute, and very rarely... Do we do anything we haven't done before? We've never painted with our feet. This is not paint brushing the toes. This is like with our feet. Yes. This is finger painting with your toes. Okay. How does this work? Okay. So we already got a base down here for you. What we're going to do is we are going to add the greenery for one stem here. Uh -huh. And what you're going to do with your feet is just use your toes. If you dig in too much, it'll start to just kind of smudge it all out. <laughs> so we're going to do our toes. But the beautiful part about a painting like this versus hand painting yeah. is we can let go a lot of that perfection. Well, I hope so. Because our feet are not our hands. So it's not yeah. something that we're used to. But it also is going to open up, again, a new okay. pathway in our brain to be like, hey, this is, this right. is creativity. I'm mm -hmm. the host, so I'll say after you. Okay. What, 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 what okay. Are we what are we're going to dig in right now. I'm going to dig in with my dark green. Ah! And I literally am just going to put my toes right in. I feel like I have paint. the most control over my big toe, obviously. Is that our yes. stem? Oh, my gosh. Kay. This is hysterical. And then just bounce it up and to add, like, one more little stem up here. Yeah. Oh, look, see, that's How great. about it? I can't wait to tell my kids what I did at work today. <laughs> I can't wait. They're going to be so jealous. They are. And they're going to want to do it, and you can totally do it this with them. This would be a fun family activity, wouldn't it? Okay, while that's still wet, I'm going to add oh a little gosh. of the light green this on top of it. is a kick. With the same toe? Yes. <laughs> With the same brush? That's right. With the same tool? We don't even have to rinse our brushes. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope there's wet wipes handy. I'm sure there is. Yes. I didn't think about that part before I dipped. Okay, and then okay. use the other foot? Um, yes. So in the background... You kind of almost go like this, just a heads up for when uh, you're practicing oh, the background. Okay. So full on leg workout for sure. <laughs> okay. um, what are we doing? White? Well, let's let's okay. Or wipe what? off. Just wipe off your toe. Is that okay? okay. Wipe sure. Off sure. Yeah. Because we're gonna go with our pink now, and okay. we're gonna add our right. flowers. Okay. I'm ready. I think. Okay. So. You do. I do. We're gonna grab our pink again with our big toe. Okay. And this time we're going to make little swirls. So. <laughs> It's the best. Just a little swirl. Part. And then you're going to come back with the white. Oh, no. That flower is no, excited. It's a good flower. It's a oh perfect my, flower. Oh, and the white in the middle. And then you got like little okay, peonies this looking. This is so fun. I'm going to finish off my flowers while I ask you. Tell me about your art studio. Okay. So <laughs> I run an art studio on Main Street in Pleasant Grove. It's uh -huh. called Us and Art. Uh-huh. It's an educational studio for kids and adults. Uh-huh. We have anywhere from three years old all the way to adult seniors. Okay. Do you have a website where we can view classes? Yes, usandart.com. All right, you see it on your screen. We'll link it from our website. I'm really into this project. Thank you for giving us this creative thrill. Yes. You should try this at home. You should. Thank you so much. Nice Absolutely. to meet you. Very fun.